Megan Fox is making a comeback in the headlines recently, especially since her romance with rapper MGK. It's rumored she's been having some sleepovers at his place in LA, considering the pair filmed the music video for a single Bloody Valentine there too. The rest of the time, she's reportedly been staying in the Calabasas neighborhood. With Megan's separation from Brian Austin Green, she's also apparently been unloading all of the real estate they shared. In this video, we'll take a look at the actress's properties and give you all the details. We even have some of the listings. Megan Fox is an actress and model and has long been considered a sex symbol, gracing the covers of multiple magazines like Maxim, Rolling Stone, and more. Although she was seemingly out of the public eye for a few years, she was still working in Hollywood with roles like starring in the sitcom New Girl for a couple seasons. These days, newly divorced Megan has been spending a lot of time with her boyfriend Colson Baker, aka Machine Gun Kelly, which has been getting them both some publicity. Although her relationship with former 90210 star Brian Austin Green was on and off over the years, they still have three young children together and only recently finalized their breakup. It's unknown if Megan is currently renting or has purchased a new home, but reports have spotted her living in the elite Calabasas neighborhood of Los Angeles. It seems she's still in the process of selling her previous mansion she owned with her ex, considering they still had more than one. At the time of this recording, Megan's estimated net worth is around $10 million, so she can still have any mansion she wants with that kind of dough. Hey guys, it's Kara, and today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We're gonna be taking a look at the gorgeous properties of actress Megan Fox, even though she's selling most of them, as well as what we know about her current living situation. I'm thinking we should also do a Machine Gun Kelly house tour while we're at it, so let me know if that's something you'd like to see. As always, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours in the likes of Madonna and Zac Efron and we'll link to some at the end. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram to chat and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Like I mentioned, I'm not sure if Megan is renting or has purchased a new home by now, but there's been a lot of moving around thanks to her divorce. During the recent pandemic, it was reported that her and Brian were living apart, and Megan spending her time in Calabasas while he was in Malibu. Sources found this out because Megan was spotted meeting up with Brian to drop their three sons off to go stay with him for a bit. There's a photo online of the Calabasas Oaks home where Megan appears to be living separately from Brian because only her car, the white Tesla, is seen on the driveway. Unfortunately, because everything has been kept pretty private, we don't know any other details about the home, so it could just be a temporary place as well. We also know that she's been spending plenty of time at MGK's glass looking modern house too. Let's take a look at a home that Megan owned and the couple lived in but sold a few years back. In 2009, a home was purchased in the trendy Los Feliz area of Los Angeles and according to property records, it was bought by a trust tied to Miss Fox. At the time of purchase, the place cost her about $2.9 million, but her and Brian ended up putting a lot of work and money into extensive renovations on the place. At first, it was described as very vanilla. The Mediterranean style villa spanned over 5,300 square feet of living space and had four beds and five baths. According to the listings, the location allowed for views of downtown LA, Long Beach, Century City, and even the ocean. The thoroughly remodeled villa blends old world architecture with all of the recent technologies and comforts. Megan and Brian transformed the almost all white slate into a colorful, inviting space. The private compound offered an ideal floor plan for the California lifestyle, and interiors had hand distressed wood floors and refurbished antique lighting. The main floor of the home had a spacious living room with fireplace and family room with floor to ceiling French doors opening up to expansive covered balconies and the city below, perfect to dine outside. The formal dining room and breakfast room flow out into the landscape courtyard. There's also a media slash games room on this level and a chef's kitchen with wood floors, marble countertops and stainless steel appliances. Megan's previous master suite had a walk-in closet, private terrace and spa-like bathroom with a soaking tub and a closet that even has a window. The former couple style the home with bold wallpaper, Spanish tile, and more eccentric touches. It got updated technology too, adding a projection screen, a sound system, and video camera surveillance. Outside, the gorgeous property was completely walled and gated for privacy and situated on a beautifully landscaped lawn spanning over 13,000 square feet. Of course, there was also a swimming pool with surrounding patio and space to lounge. When it came time for a new place, Megan put the home on the market for almost a million more than she paid at 3.9 million. Megan also used to own a home in the Sherman Oaks neighborhood of Los Angeles, which is an area in the San Fernando Valley that's pretty suburban. 
She listed the home for $1.3 million a few years back, which was an increase from the 900 k she bought it for in 2012. The home was rebuilt in 2007 and was a contemporary one-story property spanning 2,494 square feet of space. It had three beds, three baths, and although it looks slightly smaller from the exterior, there was still ample space inside. There's a large great room with vaulted ceilings which combines the kitchen, living, and dining areas. The kitchen has a large island with bar seating, stainless steel appliances, and walk-in pantry. And one of the living rooms has a fireplace and built-in bookshelves. Nearby, you'll find an area that was designed as an office but could easily be made into a playroom or something else. The airy master bedroom has a vaulted ceiling and glass doors that open onto the terrace, and the attached bath had two vanities and a soaking tub. On the patio outside, you'll find an outdoor fireplace, living area for cozy nights, and a koi pond with waterfall. Megan also transformed the garage at her casual and elegant home into a lounge and games room. Toluca Lake is a neighborhood in the San Fernando Valley about 12 miles from downtown with that beautiful natural lake as the highlight. This house was actually part of an estate that once belonged to crooner Bing Crosby so it has a cool history and public records show the couple bought it around 2014 for 3.35 million. The house sits on approximately an acre with curving driveway that leads you between gorgeous century-old oak trees and olive trees to the door. Inside, you'll find over 6,700 square feet of living space spread over one sprawling level with four beds and six baths. This doesn't include the 500 square foot plus pool house on the property, but also has its own kitchen and bath. The main room is a spacious area with exposed beams and quartz slate floors. Other features throughout include raw iron chandeliers, wooden floors, and floor to ceiling windows. There are raised ceilings throughout the common areas, rows of skylights, and a wall fireplace that divides the open plan living room and the kitchen. The kitchen offers an opal granite island with seating all around, and there's a formal dining room on cherry hardwood floors. Other rooms in Megan's previous Toluca Lake home include a library with an electric skylight, a rec room, and a Sono sound system for the entire property, even outdoors. The master suite here has his and hers bathrooms as well as a pair of large walk-in closets or dressing rooms, not to mention there's a second story loft spanning over 600 square feet. Outside the backyard features a saltwater swimming pool and spa as well as a fire pit. Aside from the fact that Bing Crosby used to live here, the home has some more recent Hollywood history thanks to Megan and Brian. During the time they were living here, the house was actually featured on Bravo TV's show Flipping Out, but the couple pulled out of the show for unknown reasons. It's assumed the project was halted due to the upcoming breakup of the couple. It still got a no expense spared renovation though, given a rustic yet modern makeover by Todd DeMann and David Kramer of Paradigm Developers, and now the home is part farmhouse, part Hollywood glam. The house was sold to another Megan shortly after, singer Megan Trainer, who bought the place for 4.9 mil and still lives there to this day. So now we've taken a look at actress Megan Fox and where she calls home, or where she's called home rather, considering she recently unloaded and sold a handful of properties. We have an idea of where the star is living in Calabasas, but I guess we'll have to wait for some more details on her living situation. After looking at the houses she once lived in in Sherman Oaks, Los Feliz, and Toluca Lake, which one was your fave? I found it hard to choose between the Los Feliz house and Toluca Lake carriage house, but I think I would choose the former. I love the Mediterranean style and how Megan and her ex redecorated the place with so much color and class at the same time. Definitely my style. Anyways, be sure to let me know what you thought in those comments down below, as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you haven't already and you want to chat, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!